Hi, this is Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're talking about the timer. The timer will be the last video of our advanced section for uh, more advanced programmers, and then after this we'll have an expert section which will cover the rest of the blocks that are applicable to you, uh, FLL. So, uh, the timer has four different standard um, blocks that you can use with it. The weight, the loop, the switch, and the actual sensor block, which we'll pull out now. Uh, there are eight embedded uh, timers in the EV3, so you don't need to plug them in. They're already there. And they start timing as soon as you execute your program or run your program, regardless of where, where you have your block. So the way you can use this perhaps to a more useful degree is uh, you can reset your timer. So wherever you reset your timer, then your your timer will go back to zero and then you'll start counting again. So that will be useful for timing certain things or start timing when uh, you want it to start timing. Um, measure, you once again uh, pick what um, timer you want to use, just like the reset button, and it just outputs the current time that it's reading. Compare your, once again, select the timer that you want to use, your um, comparing uh, setting, and uh, then your threshold value, so uh, what, what number you're comparing it to. So right now, um, it's set to greater than, so is timer greater than five, so f more than five seconds. And if it's true, it'll output uh, true in the true or false, um, or where they, it says the equal, compare result. And if it's less than five, then it'll output false. And again, it outputs the current timer value. And that's it for this block. So if we pull out, I'll pull out all of them at the same time. Uh, okay. So you'll notice that there's a time section and then a timer section. So time is just measuring um, using these sensors, but looking at the difference. The so they use these sensors and basically all the time is doing is saying we're looking for a change in one on uh, one of the timers. Um, but what we're going to be using is a timer. So we're in the compare wait for, which is very similar to this one. In fact, they're exactly the same, just a different application. That's why I pulled them all out at the same time. So you see they're all set to the same thing, uh, waiting for timer 1 to be greater than 5 on all of them. Except with this one it'll output um, the current time that it's reading. So uh, when this is true, what will happen for this block is it'll move on to the next block for a wait. Uh, and if it's a loop, then once it's true, the, it will exit the loop. and So that'll stop running whatever's inside of it. And for the uh, switch, what you have is it'll go run the top part if it's true because of the check mark, bottom part if it's false because of the X. And that's kind of just what the check mark and the X are just what indicates um, where, which, um, which path is true and which path is false. So we'll get rid of those. This one, the, the wait for has a change mode. So all that does is it waits for a specific change in the time. So right now it says it was waiting for a five second change. Now if you'll remember in previous blocks there's an option to see if you're going forwards or backwards uh, or both ways. Uh, since the timer only counts up there's no reason to go backwards since you can't have a negative change in a timer that's counting up all the time. And then once again, it, output, uh, 
it has an output for the uh, current time that's passed. And then, once again, if it has a change of 5, then it'll move on to the next blocks. And that's the uh, internal timers of the EV3. Uh, so that's it wrapping up for our advanced section. And then we'll move on to our expert section, which is also a lot of fun.